Hello, this is Y'all Weasel, and this is the Bandai Design Master. Released in 1995, the Bandai Design Master is one of the earliest touchscreen game consoles ever made. It was only released in Japan, and even calling it a game console is possibly a bit dubious. It is mostly an art system. You can... Oh, I've already got something drawn there. Let's uh, move right on. You can draw uh, in this sort of built-in drawing program, and it also comes comes with stamps that you can stamp onto the screen. But it is a game console, and it does have games available for it. Here's a Dragon Ball Z game, here's a Sailor Moon game, here's a uh, Rockman, aka Mega Man game. This is, in fact, the special edition Mega Man version of the console. There were only ever four games released, of which I have three here. But the interesting thing about the games is, well, those were the game cartridges, Here's a bunch more cartridges, more Dragon Ball Z, Slam Dunk, Street Fighter 2, more Mega Man. These are design cartridges, or manga cartridges, that's what the M is for, and the idea is the game cartridges, well, the games, are all in some way about drawing, but like I showed, you can put stamps in your drawings, well, most games for most consoles are male, they plug into the console, these games are hermaphrodites. You can plug a design cartridge into the game, plug the game into the console, and then use the stamps from the design cartridge in the game. So there's many combinations, each design cart, each game. Now, if the games were a bit more interesting and the drawings were a bit more useful in them, then, well, that would be more interesting than it is. But to actually see what those games are like, well, stick around. I'm going to show you all of them. I'm going to, well, all of the ones that I have anyway. And don't worry, the screen isn't going to look quite that unclear. The screen is actually going to look a bit like this. I have technology to make it quite readable. Only one other thing I want to show just what the original boxes for the games look like. The funny thing about these boxes is they are barely larger than the game. They are just adorable, tiny boxes. They barely, barely fit the games. So, nice art on the boxes, as you would expect in a fairly art-focused uh, uh, art game console. But... The games themselves are what we're here for. I play obscure games, that's what I do. Stick around, in the next couple episodes we'll be looking at all of these games. In this episode, I'm just going to look at the uh, main interface, the drawing stuff. Finally, I'd like to thank Retro Romper for loaning me this system to actually record all of these games on it. And I'd like to thank Sen for doing the translation. I'll put links in the description below to something related to both of them, and also to the high-quality scans of all of the box art and that sort of thing, if you want to take a look at that. But stick around for now, and we'll take a look at drawing on this strange device. Hello, this is Y'all Weasel. This is the Bandai Design Master, an exceedingly rare piece of technology uh, that I hope you haven't heard of, whoever is watching this video, because no one has heard of it, and that's kind of the point. So this was a, a game console, I suppose, and it comes with, well, well, it has available games, of course, games for the game console. But the curious thing about this particular game console is that they're not only games, there are so-called design cartridges. And the design cartridges plug into the games in a surprising way. And no one's 100% sure what that means or what the implication is, but that's what we're going to learn. However, as a uh, first step here, let's start by just looking at the system itself and seeing how it behaves on its own. So I'd like to thank Sen, who is joining me silently to do translation. We're going to figure out what everything says. So it is the design master, and thus this is sketch mode. These are sketches one through six, and this apparently says opening uh, and puzzle. So I think with no sketches, if I click puzzle, it's not going to... Yeah, that's, that's quite the puzzle, Design Master. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe there's supposed to be a sliding tile puzzle here, but instead there's a white screen. Great. I'm going to assume that says back in the bottom right. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back. Oh, that wasn't back, that was like, choose puzzle, or... 
Oh, that, that actually became a puzzle. Well, then now I'm just very curious how to actually get out of here. <laughs> I know one way to get out of here. <laughs> Restart the system. Okay, let's uh, let's actually focus on the sketch mode for a bit. So I have discovered that in this sketch mode, if I sketch something... Hi. There we go. Then, yeah, it'll, it'll accept my sketch. And then this A, B, C, D, E at the top are menus of things you can do. Particularly if I double-click and thus cancel out of the menu, that's probably good. Okay, so menu A is just like, go back to the main menu and saying that this is uh, sketch one. Actually, I am curious what happens if I click sketch one, given that we are in sketch... Oh, it's not clickable. It's, it's just to tell you we're in sketch one. Fine. Menu B, uh, most of these are just brushes and that kind of thing. And then this is undo, and this is uh, duplicate, like copy it to a different sketch if you want to make something based on it. Here's menu C. It is full of, I assume, stamps. I guess I haven't tried one. That's a stamp! <laughs> and as well, this says, like, letter stamps, as in, you know, mostly Japanese characters, although the... Oh, it switches... Oh god, this would be a slow way to write a letter. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it will eventually, uh, uh, switch... Uh, or it, it, it also supports, of course, the, uh, Latin characters, so you could write that way, too. This is a beautiful drawing I'm making. D does nothing! <laughs> Don't know why! E says send and receive, <laughs> and it has a music note, and I'm really distressed about that. And when I clicked that, it... what? <laughs> okay, so this says preparing transmission. I think this device might have IR. Let me, let me, let me let do a quick check of that. Yeah, there's an IR port. <laughs> that explains that! Okay, so you can send and receive sketches by IR, which is kind of ahead of its time, actually. Uh, let me go back to the main menu. So now that I have that, if I click puzzle, can I, can I puzzle myself with that somehow? Oh, I actually draw in the puzzle space! Oh, the puzzle is like its own sketch pad. So I'll bet if I, like, click C, Oh yeah, that's all this. Okay, the puzzle is its own sketch pad. So that's end draw. Oh, that's that's gonna be an easy one to do a sliding tile puzzle of. Thanks, you always all really good work. Okay, so that's that's the built-in things. I think the only thing I have missed, uh, and I guess I can get there from menu A. The only thing I have missed is this. Which is just also somewhere to sketch? <laughs> so the translation I've got is opening, and it also just seems to be somewhere to sketch. I'm thinking maybe it'll affect the game when we put a game cartridge in, so let's just stick a bunch of terrible stamps all over the screen, and see if that does... something. <laughs> Oh yes, and this in the top right says forward. Oh, okay, that, that, right, the, the first page is the, uh... Oh, this is like a slideshow? Yeah, this is like a slideshow. Hmm. <laughs> I guess that is an option as well. Can we can we please never do a slideshow? Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's a slideshow. Good to know. Well, I, so the main menu is just to draw things, but we'll see how that affects the actual game in due time. <laughs>